Hi there, this is Pride Daily. LGBTQ plus people are more likely to have issues with alcohol, if you go by all the research, and with that comes an increased cancer risk. So there's a push in Australia to flag up that link and encourage responsible drinking. Broadcaster and writer Benjamin Law is part of the Be Unapologetic campaign in New South Wales. Drinking more than four drinks a day, or ten per week, increases your risk of cancer. So talk to your doctor about ways to reduce your alcohol consumption and let's be open and supportive with friends about lowering our booze intake. Stay within the guidelines, go booze free when needed and be unapologetic about not drinking too. The challenges queer people come up against like discrimination and hate crimes sometimes result in problem drinking. Alcohol can lead to eight different types of cancer including liver, bowel and breast cancer. Thailand's become the 44th country to be named a member of the Equal Rights Commission. The organisation works to protect LGBTQ plus rights around the world, with a particular focus on reducing violence and discrimination. Other members include America, Australia, Cyprus and the UK. And a new queer romance from the non-binary author of Red, White and Royal Blue. The pairing by Casey McQuiston sees ex-lovers Theo and Kit back in each other's orbit after four years apart. They try to prove how much they've both moved on by competing to have the most hookups. As for Red, White and Royal Blue, a sequel to the film of that book's in the works, again starring Nicholas Galitzine and Taylor Zaka Perez. I'm Kev McGrath. See you tomorrow.